waters. He shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell. I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Says, uh, he was a student of the Bible. Boy, that was true, wasn't it? Just loved God's Word. He told me often about being in Springfield, you know, and the days of Baptist Bible College and all of his his experience, you know. And, and then it says he enjoyed his younger years of riding a horse out west as a circuit riding preacher. I didn't know that. That's pretty neat. I can see him doing that. And uh, I think he's passed that love for the Bible and, uh, and the West to you all as well, you know. He enjoyed a deep, the deep truths of the Bible and then with his children. His family is assured that he's enjoying being in the Savior's presence after all these years of living the Christian faith, the Christian life. And um, I'm thankful for that. And um, I had a note here from Jennifer, I think, your conversation with Ms. Kelly, that even here in the latter days of his life, he wanted to drive out to New Mexico and uh, the week prior, just a week prior to that, get a burger from Blake's Lot of Burgers. So, I mean, he's, <laughs> he still had his, uh, his wit about him, didn't he? So, yes, he did. Yeah. Well, let's have a word of prayer, and then we'll enjoy a couple songs that the family has here. Father, I sure thank you for my friend. Um, he was a blessing to his family, and a blessing to his church family, and to so many others. Lord, uh, we often talked about this day. See knew that he was nearing the end of his life and he still loved you and he loved his family and wanted the best for them and their love for him is a testimony of how that he lived and and uh, God I thank you for his friendship I thank you for the encouragement he was to me every time I was around him every visit I had with him and, and the conversations we'd have about your word and and uh, Lord about being in your presence and it was evident to me that he was ready to go home to heaven so I'm glad he's in your presence now and I miss him and I know the family does but I thank you God that we do not sorrow as others that have no hope we sorrow with hope the assurance that we'll see him again in Jesus name we pray Amen. I mean let's enjoy these songs here that you have 